All right, welcome to Summit. My name is Elliot. I'm going to show you our terpene distillation system. A couple of different things. You have options. You can run it with a cheaper mantle. In our case, we're going to run it with a techno heat because we like our techno heat mantle the most. Um, here's the flask. You fill it with water. You have your tube. You fill it with material. In this case, we're using lemon and what is this? Rosemary. Rosemary. So this is a common recipe for any kind of hand lotion. You can bring this on over, mix with coconut oil, and put it on a, your on, on your hands. Uh, but just an aromatic distillation we're going to do today. Uh, we have a Vario 4C hooked up just so we're going to be doing some, some more accurate terpene distillations and not just ripping the terps out of the system. So up here we have our first terpene head. This is the first spot where the vapors are going to hit. Instead of it culminating to the system and rejecting, this kind of cools it down and does the bulk of the work and drives that solution down so it's not just hitting hot vapor here and spitting the bottom. The next gram condenser is going to take over and it's going to bring it back down to a liquid moreover and we're going to collect it here in a separatory funnel and once we're done with this process we'll drain it out. Um, you can use this for pretty much anything that you can smell so any type of uh, uh, product that has an aromatic content you can hook this thing up and run it. In the kit you get multiple barrels so the way that it's meant to be used is you run it till you expend the barrel out and then you just pop the head off new barrel, put it back on and keep going. Uh, the time is variable. You can have multiple different short runs or long runs depending on how densely this is packed up. We're going to try and pull a mild vacuum so we're going to shorten our run down a little bit. Uh, the throughput is generally about nine tenths of what generally in this with, with, with water terpene extractions you'll get about nine tenths of what's available. So if your plant had five milligrams you'll get a little bit less than five milligrams of, um, of your content. Uh, in this type of scenario, we're running just ice water right now because it was cheaper than hooking up uh, an actual chiller and running uh, any glycol through it. This is a simple, basic method of using it. With pump-wise, I recommend anything with a controller. So a 2C pump or a 4C pump with a uh, vapor pressure controller or an SVC one will work really, really well. Uh, and a standard 80, 40, 80, 20 will work. The idea is you want to go as low as possible. So bring the temperature down. Um, you can use a mixture of different liquids, whether it be water or a mixture of solvents. It just depends on how you're doing a distillation. I've heard some people use ether to pull uh, uh, aromatics out because ether separates really well and it comes off much sooner. Uh, we're going to be able to harvest our terpenes onto this flask. Uh, we can use a separator as well. Uh, what's going to be really interesting is we're going to just separate them and get the hydrosol off and then collect the terpenes. Another way of doing it is when you have enough of the terpenes collected, you can actually pour it over uh, like a drying compound or a sieve and that will pull the rest of the water out. Uh, most of what we're doing here is just a general evaporation. Uh, if you want to go any further, you have to use different types of terpene extraction devices to create analytical terpenes. This will just give you a general push. In some cases, people will run it until they see the water coming out. So we're going to get it going here and get started. <laughs> 